Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2023 Bowman's Best Baseball. Brand new release just dropped a couple of nights ago. Eight box, pick your team, number four, all card ship. A lot of great stuff to chase here. And a very big thank you to this group right here for making it happen. Pick your team four here on Friday the 19th, the rare Friday for Joe Jaspi. Switch with Jason who helped me out covering for me last weekend. Big thanks to everybody here. If you have up four next to your name, that means you won that spot in update box number four. You won those teams in that filler. Official last spot mojo goes to Evan with the Minnesota Twins, and there's everybody right here. Nice. Good luck, everybody. Nets at Lakers on in the background. Lakers up 56, 50, 56, 44. Six minutes left in the first half. All right. Good luck, everybody. What's the, what's the latest in baseball? I guess the big transaction news is Josh Hader Astros agreeing to a five-year, $95 million deal. Wow. A lot, a lot of money for a guy in the back end of the rotation or the pitching staff. Closer is important, I guess. Oh, I did not. I missed this story from what earlier today. New details on Wander Franco investigation in Dominican Republic. Maybe some sensitive content. So beware if you're rewatching the replay or if you have sensitive ears next to you. When everything was falling apart for Wander Franco, the incandescent star and shortstop from Tampa is a Jeff Passan autograph along with Juan Arturo uh, Raquil. Star short talk with Tampa Bay prosecutors in the minute currently allege he opened WhatsApp on his phone and sent a message to a teenage girl with whom he carried on a months-long relationship and paid to remain quiet about it. So are they saying it's, it's true? I guess it's all alleged. My girl, Franco allegedly wrote in Spanish. If my team realized this, it could cause problems for me. It is a rule for all teams that we cannot talk to minors, yet I took the risk and I loved it. E. After, after a near, allegedly, after a nearly six month investigation, he was arrested on New Year's Day for not appearing in court to answer a summons. Well, pro prosecutors later accused him of having intimate relationships with this girl when he was 21. It's not, this is not looking good for him. Presented charges of commercial sexual exploitation, money laundering. He could face up to 20 years in prison. Wow, there's a nearly 600-page document presented to the judge. Blah, 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 blah. There's transcripts between her, relatives, messages. This is not good. There are, well, uh, there are serious questions regarding the authenticity of particular documents and references contained in the prosecutor's confidential file, which was inappropriately disclosed to certain media outlets of Franco's U.S.-based attorney. Uh, the story goes on, but... Yeah, it's not it's not good. Apparently, they got an interview with the girl. It's a long story. We're not going to read all this, but it's not looking good for Wander Franco. I, th I think it's all alleged. There's Yuri Perez to two ninety nine, but. Seems to be enough. Well, we'll see how it plays out, but it's increasing look, looking not good for Wander From. There's Corbin Carroll, Greg with the Diamondbacks, Yuri Perez, Mini Diamonds, Joe with the Marlins. Tristan's here thinking thinking it's time for a big Yankees hit. Yeah, what are, what are we looking for? There's a Corbin Carroll and a Cam Collier. 50 out of 50. Nice. Shellac. Autograph. That's going to be for Robert in Cincinnati.
Really like the way this uh, parallel looks. This is Michael Harris. Paul Skeen's shellacked. And there's Davis and Delos. Has Cam hit in every case? Davis and Delos Santos for Greg. I feel like from what I remember with Bowman's best is that the checklist is that the autograph checklist is actually quite small. So you end up seeing, you know, you end up seeing repeats fairly often. At least that's that's going by previous. Ah, a Volpe low numbered auto. Okay, let's see what we can do. There's Paul Skeens to 199. Nice one for the Pirates. Michael with that one. And ooh, I thought we did it. Now we're gonna have to settle for uh, for Yankees prospect Spencer Jones. This will have to do, Tristan. I think he's supposed to be. A uh, highly touted prospect in that Yankees organization. Masterpieces. Yeah, Tristan's like, I'll take it. I'll take it. More shellac. Celestin. And a Brailer Guerrero. For Michael and Tampa Bay. All right, nice first box. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Oh, he is the number one prospect for the Yankees, Spencer Jones. Nice. I guess now, now that I guess Volpe and, and especially like Jason Dominguez graduated, so. Speaking of the Yankees, Jeter downs his career with the Yankees could end before it even started. Downs was designated for assignment for on Friday, today, uh, earlier this afternoon, one month after the Yankees claimed the 25 year first stop off waivers from the Nationals. Yeah, what a long and winding road for Jeter Downs. I'm kind of rooting for him. It'd be kind of cool if he bounces around like this and then figures it out, but he was once a highly touted prospect, then has now been in the in the wild. He was the 32nd overall pick by the by the Reds in 2017, named after Derek Jeter. Yeah, Downs was part of that Mookie Betts deal. He was traded from the Dodgers to the Red Sox as part of a package from Mookie Betts. Is this number four, Joe? This is Pick Your Team Four. That, how's that dual caser looking? Two left. Two left in that yeah, dual caser. Tristan came over Ooh. and got the dual. Nice. Thanks, Tristan. And another Spencer Jones. There we go. 64 out of 75. Spencer Jones, Yankees, double A, 22 years old, 25th overall pick out of Vanderbilt. So we're probably going to see him sooner rather than later, right? He only got 78 plate appearances in double A. He might get a cup of coffee by the end of the year. Right, so maybe he'll start and probably be in spring training, train with the big club for a little bit. There's Salastan to 250. He's another nice prospect too for Ryan and the Mariners. 
you know, then maybe, uh, what, are, what are we hoping? We see him uh, move up to triple A at some point this season. Maybe get a maybe get some time at the big club in September. Maybe start pushing his way into a, a starting role in 2025, 2026. There's Chase DeLotter. Cleveland, this is for you. And Adam Copperman, who has Cleveland. And he's got he he's got some nice uh, nice grades on his scouting report here. Nice Ethan Solace to 75. Padres, Brian Crouch. And a shellacked autograph. 11, I love the shellacked autograph. 11 out of 50. That's a Lazaro Montes. Ryan. There's Gunner, and wow, another nice Mariner, Felnine Celestin. For Ryan and the Mariners. Base Gunner as well for EA and the Orioles. And we got another Davis and De Los Santos going to Greg and the Diamondbacks. And we do need Jason Dominguez to come back strong. I feel like he had a really, it's kind of crazy. I guess it speaks to his toughness. But I think he was playing through that pain in the, in the elbow. Spencer Jones grades though, it looks like his game power, the ceiling is 70, raw power is 70, speed is 50. If you know your scouting grade, do you know how good that is? Damn. Yeah, that's according to San, San, uh, Fangraphs, that is. One of my favorite baseball sites. Center fielder from Vanderbilt. He's got that college experience. As a, This is according to Fangraphs. As a SoCal high schooler, Spencer Jones was a big ceiling late first round prospect as both a hitter and pitcher. But a senior year surgery to repair a fracture in his elbow was a blow to his draft stock. And so he ended up going to Vanderbilt where he re-injured his elbow as a freshman, required Tommy John. Then he focused just on hitting. Had a rusty sophomore year. Then he moved from first base to right field. Then it became a full-time starter in his junior year. Tweaked his swing through, uh, through the spring. Began to look more comfortable with the pace and difficulty of SEC baseball, as well as his gigantic body, 6'6", 235. And the Yankees took him in the late first round and then put him in center field. And then in his double-A season, power and strikeout guy. Jones has enormous potential with eventual 40-homer power in the tank. And I think over time he's gonna have to, so he's gonna have to be able to shorten up and still get, and still get to enormous pop. So that sounds good. You know, the class, what, uh, what, how is, is he a, he's a lefty, throws left, bats left, so he's a lefty, and like a lot of lefties, a lot, like a lot of power hitters these days, the strikeouts are coming from the top of the zone, and then backdoor breaking balls. I guess apparently, looks like his development is gonna be a little bit slower but he's got a huge ceiling. So, it'll be interesting. We'll, met, we'll met, watch, his, watch his progress through the years. Nice Corbin Carroll and that Bowman Randy Johnson. I like, that. I like Randy Johnson taking these photos. Great photographer. Doing some portraits.
There's Tommy Troy and Johnny Farmello. Another Mariners autograph for Ryan. When it rains, it pours. Especially in Seattle. It's going to rain this weekend in L.A. I think mostly overnight, though. I hope. Got things to do tomorrow during the day. Tommy Troy to 150. Don't jam me up, Rain. And we got a Davis and Gutierrez. That's for Robert and the Mets. Won the Mets in the filler. Greg, is, that, is this? It sure is, Greg. Sure is. You have a team in this one, Coos? I don't think so. I don't see your name on here. And another Mariner, Gabriel Gonzalez. Are we get, gonna get one of every prospect auto on the checklist maybe, Ryan, in this case? We still have, we're not even halfway through this case. And you got Roderick Arias to 250. Gunnar Henderson and a Gunnar Henderson shellac. That's gonna be for EA and the, a and the uh, Orioles. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're at the top of the list. Arizona Diamondbacks. Nothing too crazy. I think a couple Corbin Carroll cards. Some Davison De Los, De Los Santos. A couple, of, a couple autographs there. That's about it. And there's Junior Camonero. Nice. Michael with the Rays. Yeah, forget about Wander Franco. Let's root for this guy here. Box four here and pick your team four. Good luck, everybody. Remember, we, we are, this break probably will bring us to the, uh, probably bring us to, nice, that uh, best university football just sold out. Probably bring us to the top of the hour, probably the last two hours of the show. So if you want to get something going, let's. At Donner's, we should be able to do. There's only seven left there. And then we got six left in uh, University of Basketball. At least just one or cannot forget about the juniors, right? The junior Camineros. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Jeff Passan, we were, we were... We had just touched upon this a little bit earlier, Greg. But Jeff Passan and another author had written a story on ESPN. It came out earlier today. Kind of a long... A long piece detailing this whole thing. It's not looking good for Wander Fra I mean, obviously, a lot of this is alleged... But the evidence does feel a little damning, judging from the uh, from the transcript they've seen, interviews with the victim, so on and so forth. got Hunter Brown, Mini Diamond. I don't think the this insert Mini Diamonds are numbered. And we got a Jacob Berry. That'll be for Joe and the Marlins. I wonder how many of those were in production before they're like, yeah, we probably shouldn't do that. Gunnar Henderson, Mini Diamond, Shellac. And oh, we had a Corbin Carroll base. Let's save those. Base rookie. We need to find some parallels of this. But there's an Amarian Boyd. Phillies autograph. Brian Crouch. 
Save your Isaac to 99. Nice, that's that's the way to do it. Dual dual screen Jaspies. I guess you can even pop on the Instagram stream. You can you can uh, you can triple stream Jaspies. Teddy's live right now on the IG. And there's Oswald Osorio for my Dodgers. Adam, with that Dodger Joe Mojo. And we got Juan Brito. That's going to go to Adam and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, we're halfway through the break. Next half. Anyone have one of these uh, GMC or Chevy trucks with the with the uh, multi-function tailgate? I guess my question is, uh, you know, it's one of those things that like can break easily. There's so many moving parts that you're always having to fix it. Does it lose function after a while? You know, the more moving parts there are, especially on a car. Or does it work fine? Maybe they did maybe they got that dialed in. Jordan Walker, mini diamonds, reveals a Wyatt Langford autograph. Very nice. Uh, Hui Nguyen with uh, the Rangers. Very nice. One of the big prospects right there. The tailgate is awesome. Uh-oh. Tristan's NyQuil is kicking in. Are you under the weather, Tristan? Feel better. The tailgate is awesome. It looks awesome. And I'm just like, you know, like, you never know. Michael Harris, Braves. That's going to be for Joey in the Braves. <laughs> the one case you didn't have the Rangers. Isn't that how it goes? Javier Baez, green mini diamond, 28 out of 99 for Detroit, Tristan and Detroit. And Roman Anthony. That will be for Todd and the Red Sox.
It is, Greg. That's the on the Fanatics live stream. There's virtually no lag between, which makes the interactions a little more, a little more lively, I guess. There's Weldon Francisca for Adam. Cleveland, this is for you. Yeah, on YouTube there is a bit of a lag. I feel like they, think they should be able to fix that, but. They have not. Another box. Been a pretty solid case thus far. Just a couple more big names and maybe a, a train whistle style hit out of five and under or under. I think that would that that would that would really solidify this as being one of the better cases that we've seen of the many that we have done. All right, and away we go. Kodai saying a purple for the Mets reveals a Eddie Beltre. Padres, that's going to go to Brian. The Kodai for the Mets for Roberts, purple, that's going to be the 250. 235 out of 250. Corbin Carroll, shellacked. And we got a Hector Rodriguez, 7 out of 25, mini diamond autograph. Great low number on that, Robert with the Reds. And a Lazaro Montes, Ryan with the Mariners. Bo Bichette Orange to 25. Nice, Toronto, Adam. And we got Sterling Thompson. That will be for the Rocks, Chris Parent with the Rockies. Two boxes to go.
Leaguers up 70 to 68. They should be up a little bit more on the on the nets, I think. So here we are. All right, the penultimate box. Good luck, everybody. Pick your team four. And nice reel-to-reel -reel die cut autograph. 42 out of 50, Joendry Vargas for my Dodgers. There you go, Adam buying the Dodgers straight up. Got an Ethan Salas Aqua to 199. Padres, Brian. Drew Jones Masterpieces going to Greg. Coos. And we got Daniel Montero for Brian and the Padres. Won that team in the filler. Adley Rushman, Shellac Mini Diamonds. And Luis Lara. And it's going to go to Joe and the Brew Crew. Von Gris in purple to 250. And an Ethan Salas autograph for Brian Crouch and the Padres. Nice. One of their top prospects. Christian, what's up? So for the Bowman basketball, is there a way to contact both winners before rendered for some kind of 50-50 sale? Um, that's a good question. I, my thinking is no. I think we'll just do a randomizer between the letters and then it'll just go to one place because there's the issue of Who holds on to it? I know what you're talking about, yeah. The, 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 brawn, the brawny and his dad. But like, yeah, is it our responsibility to hold on to it until a sale is made? And then we have to make sure, I mean, are, are we like the escrow company at this point? You know, what if something happens on our end and nobody wins, then we're paying out money. So it is a real heartbreak. I mean, I think that's how it has to be. Excuse me, I had to sneeze there. But like, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a tricky situation because then all of a sudden there's responsibility on us, you know, to protect that card. And I'm not sure if we're interested in, in, in doing that. 
You know, like how would we confirm that funds have been transferred? Well, what if, I mean, there could be bad actors in this, you know, and, and be like, oh yeah, I, we, we pay, like who's doing the selling? Do we have to sell it? Who's doing the selling of it? It, it, it gets a little, yeah, it gets a little tricky. But I think it'll just be a straight randomizer. Yeah, you'd have to buy multiple spots and hope you get those two letters. There's a Yuri Perez. 86 out of 99, that's gonna be Miami, Joe. Another Corbin Carroll, Yoshida Mini Diamonds. Randy De Jesus for the Halos, Brian Crouch. Two more autos to go. We got blue Oscar Colas to 150. And there's the him. I'm him. Gunnar Henderson, nice. It's a short print. That's going to go to EA and the O's. Nice. He is him. And there's Daniel Giarte for the Brewers. That's going to be for Joe. And the Brewers, the Brew Crew. Adley Rushman Masterpieces. We've got another Jackson Holiday Shellacked. Yelich Green and a Cam Collier. I think we started off with a Cam Collier. We're ending the break with a Cam Collier. Robert Runkle won that team in the filler. And to 99, that's the Yelich right there. There you go, gang. That was Bowman's Best Baseball, eight box, pick your team number four from jazpiescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick little recap. Thanks everybody for getting in. Got that nice Ethan Salas. Got the die cut auto, something unique. I haven't seen that. Wyatt Lankford. So a lot of great stuff in here. The Celestin, the Shellac autographs, Spencer Jones. Start off with a Cam Collier as well. There you have it. Thanks, everybody, for watching and breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com.